my brothers and sisters we are going to see the different blocks that is blocking the deliverance the one of the most important block for the deliverance is justification there are people who justify their sins in connection with someone else sins they say see the priest and even bishops and even the selected people all these people do these they drink they do these therefore why can't i do it there are people justify them looking showing someone else those who justify their sins they will never get out of the sin if they justify certain sins saying everybody these these people these people are doing it my family supports it my husband has no problem my wife has no problem my parents have no problem then what is your problem i remember one person who was who have uh, or was thinking of committing abortion and when i said we should never do this then he said my wife has no problem my parents have got no problem i have no problem then what is your problem so this is how many people think justification saying everybody has no problem then what is your problem what is the problem of the church why should pro- church intervene in my personal life my dear brothers and sisters if anybody justify this evil act it is impossible for them to come out of their sin justification any internal justification in your mind it's okay every you know these are all okay looking at someone else so oh, they are doing this they are doing this so i can also do it there is nothing wrong the moment we do that the sin takes control of us it is very difficult for this sin to get out of us if we have justification let us read this word of god first corinthian chapter 5 verse 6 onwards first corinthian chapter 5 verse 6 onwards your boasting is not a good thing do you not know that a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough even a small sin some people say it's only a small mistake it's only a small thing i only once in a while i drink once in a while i smoke once in a while i watch an holy video it's only a small thing it's not a great thing but bible says even a small little yeast can leaven the whole batch of dough and verse seven we read like this the word of god says clean out the old yeast so that you may be a new batch as you really are unleavened for our paschal lamb christ has been sacrificed verse 8 therefore let us celebrate the festival not with the old yeast the yeast of the, the yeast of malice and evil but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth so why do we tolerate small small evils instead of tolerating evils why don't you start doing small small goods at least the holiness then the whole life the whole life will be purified by doing small small goods things if you do small small evil things and justify it it can def- defile the whole body and the whole life a whole life will be defiled with the small mistakes small sins it will impure impure our body therefore no compromise even with the small small sins it can destroy even if you compromise small sins it will destroy our whole life praise the lord praise the lord so the first block for deliverance from the addictions is justification the second block is is the attitude of it's okay it's legal it is allowed some people say it is allowed the government supports it there is nothing wrong some people extramarital relationship living together even abortions and many other sins they say it's allowed is legally permitted then what is the mist what is wrong all the legal things are not correct in the presence of god even if just because a government pass a law doesn't make a sin a ho- sin a sin holy the governments no human beings have their right to purify 
a sin only god can purify us no one can turn a sin into holiness only god can do it and god has not given permission or authority to any one to do evil therefore just because a government pass a law or just because the the community pass a law just because a culture say something doesn't make any sin holy we read like this Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Sirach chapter 15 verse 20. Let us read Sirach chapter 15 verse 20. We read like this. He has not commanded anyone to be wicked and he has not given anyone permission to sin. God has not given the permission to any parliament to pass any law which are against the divine law. The laws are the ultimate protection and the laws ultimate laws are given in the Bible. The almighty God, the only living God has given us these laws in the Bible and we are just supposed to obey it. And no entity in this world no parliament no individuals no presidents and prime ministers and kings and queens no one can pass any law which are against the divine law because bible says he has not given anyone permission to sin therefore if we if anyone say it is legal it is permitted that doesn't make anything holy it is sin sin is sin always therefore my dear brothers and sisters if anyone feels inside it's okay everybody does it and legally it is wrong it is not wrong it is acceptable in the acceptable part of the society everyone drinks everyone eat everyone smokes and everyone having this wrong relationship doesn't make that sin something good praise the lord praise